Okay, it is March 14th, and the readathon begins. Quote unquote readathon. This is just Maya reading for like a lot more than she's done all year. So, the first book I'm reading is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Sainz. I doubt I'm pronouncing right that right. I've already read it before. No, I listened to the audiobook uh, narrated by the great Lynn Melden while Miranda. But since it's a book that I had to read for class, I decided I should probably reread it so I can like, actually answer the questions with some clarity, because I have to, like, remember what happened. And I started reading last night, and I'm just like, this feels a lot different the second time around. Like, I'm really excited. Like, this week is just gonna be the coolest ever. So I think that's all for this update. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, so it's just after 7 p.m. I just finished dinner. It was so delicious. And I am currently at 213 pages, according to my Kindle. And I am, I mean, it's really cool reading it over again, because you kind of notice things, and you really catch some jokes that you may or may not have noticed the first time around. I think I am going to edit a video. I might get some more reading done, and I'm going to watch... Let me show you. For my movie today, I'm going to watch um, Victor Victoria, the stage production. I have been looking for this forever. And I finally found it through Amazon, through one of their um, sellers. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. That's what my entertainment will consist of after I get some reading done. And I'm probably going to read some more after the movie as well. So it's going to be... Like I said, this is a reading staycation, and I'm so excited. Talk to you later. Alright, so it is 9.37. I am sitting on the floor in a little book cocoon. And I, just, I did say I was going to watch the movie, but I re got really into my book. So I guess I'm just going to finish reading this until I'm done. And it's weird, because I only started it, like yesterday and I'm almost done. It's going a lot quicker. I think it's because it's a lot of dialogue. So it's just kind of like a lot of back and forth conversation. So, and I've already read it before. So it's kind of going a lot quicker than I expected. It's pretty good. All right. It is 1037. Seven. Seven. <laughs> I just finished Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. <laughs> it was definitely better the second time. It was like reading a whole different book. Or maybe I just forgot a lot of it, so it was like reading it for the first time. A lot of parts I, I still remembered. Still, it was like, oh my god, I forgot this was going to happen. And all the jokes, I laughed out loud. They were so good. So definitely um, five stars, hands down. It's such a good book. Good morning, everyone. It is the 15th. It's 8.41, and I have started reading Destiny Rewritten by Catherine Fitzmaurice. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling. It's I'm on page, like, 29. I just started... And it's kind of, like, scattered for me. Like, it's a little, like, all over the place. And I don't know. I feel like the reason I picked it up is because the main character sends letters to Danielle Steele, which is, like, one of my five favorite authors. But it doesn't seem like that's an integral plot point. So I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the actual point. And the mother is, like, super obsessed with fate and Emily Dickinson and it's kind of getting annoying so I feel like I'm gonna give it a little bit more time just because I mean I, I'm not in a rush I don't really need to put it down but it's I hope it picks up just a little bit hello guys it is 324 I don't know why I don't check the time before I start filming but I'm on page 136 of Destiny rewritten. It took a while for it to gain traction. It's finally getting somewhere. So I'm gonna keep reading. I'm like halfway done and I'll 
I'm actually really interested in kind of seeing how it plays out. I think that's it. Bye. Okay, so I just finished Destiny Rewritten. It's 6.23, and it's a solid three stars. There were a lot of parts that annoyed me and kind of went on for too long, but the whole, the overall, like, wrap of this up of the story i like okay i like this this is good i realized that the way my rating system works is a book is guaranteed three stars if i finish it because that means i was invested enough to see the conclusion of the story and then if i like read up to the end and the ending will either be the make it or break it point. Because this book, it was kind of... It, it kind of went back and forth of, like, how good it was. But once I got to the ending, I'm like, that was that was pretty good. So, in case you're wondering how my rating system worked, there it was. Now, I don't know. I don't know what I, what I want to do now. Because technically I've read, like, two books in two days. So I don't know if I should take a break or um, watch a movie or something. I do want to do the Illuminate series, but I don't know if I want to like do like a, the marathon tonight. I don't know. I, if I don't see you guys again, if I don't talk to you guys again today, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So it is three o'clock in the morning. I just watched three movies for some reason. And I decided, you know, why not just continue to stay up like a crazy person and start reading. So I am currently reading The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. And I'll tell you how it goes. I have no idea why I'm up. I'm like why I'm still up. No, no questions here. Turns out Staying up until 3 a.m. makes it hard to function the next day. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm taking a break on the Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian because my Kindle needs to charge. So I'm switching to the amazing, fantastic, incredible Stan Lee. I'm reading his memoir. And it's really cool. I think it's... Well, what's awesome is that he's also going over what the actual process is for a comic book so that's kind of fascinating learning about that but then you can also go through his life story and all that he did to become stan lee so oops i'm liking it so far all right it is 12 21 on a great friday the 16th I hope. And I just finished the um, Stanley's memoir. It was interesting to learn more about how comic books are created and just about his career. It was a really good, it was a good, really good read. So I think I want to work out because <laughs> as much as I love books, if I stay reading all day, I will become very sedentary. I think I'm going to go back to um, The Absolutely True Diary. Unless there's another book. I guess it's between Illuminae and um, Absolute True Diary. So I probably should read Absolute True Diary or I'll never get through it. <laughs> Alright, I just finished the Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. I was worried that it was just going to be like a super depressing book. But it ended up getting really good and powerful and talking about how much um, alcohol has affected the Native American community. And kind of their relationships and just all that kind of dynamics so that was kind of interesting to see more about that so for the rest of the night i was like i don't want to uh, burn through all my books i think i'm gonna um just watch a movie now um and tomorrow i'm gonna go to the library and pick up some books that i reserved and then we're gonna do some more reading. I've also had this urge to write something. I don't know what I want to write, but I want to write something, and I've kind of been toying with some ideas. Uh, Camp NaNoWriMo is coming up soon, but I don't want to wait for Camp NaNoWriMo. I just want to put pen to paper, so that also might be something that I do tomorrow. That's all from me. See you next time.
Hi guys! So I just got back from the library. I had to reserve some books like I told you guys yesterday. I always usually take my like book bag with me, so it makes it easy to carry. So the first book I got was Vengo by Timothée de Fombelle. So the reason I got this one was I always see it at um, when I used to work at the bookstore. I heard that it's really good, so I figured I should like actually read it. Another one I got was Heaven by Angela Johnson. This is one of those the books for my uh, school assignment. But I read it before in like college, I want to say, or was it high school? Probably college. So I wanted to reread it to kind of refresh my mind. Uh, the next one, and as you can tell, I'm a little tired because I did walk. So if I'm a little less energy. Please forgive me. <laughs> Hilo, this is the fourth book in the Hilo series. I have been in love with this graphic novel, even though it's like probably for a lot younger kids. It's so imaginative, and I think I'm gonna end up rereading it before I get to this one. I'm rereading the series, I mean, before I get to this one, so. The next one is the Impulse Read, which is in line with my, um, bookish goals. This one is You you Bring the Distant Near by Matali Perkins. Um, so I kind of looked at it, scanned through the beginning, um, the actual book jacket, and it's like, yep, that sounds pretty good. Let's read it. So hopefully it's actually good. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it. I'm not sure what actual reading I'm going to get done today because I've been kind of speeding through a lot of books. Yes, I just hit my glasses. I'm kind of in a, I don't know what to read now mode. So let's see what happens. Hi guys. So I basically watched like two movies and I was like, okay, now it's time to read. So I ended up reading Hilo number three and now I'm going to read Hilo number four. I originally planned to kind of reread the whole series, but the library hasn't had them available yet. So I figured, let me just read what I do have. So now I'm going to read number four, and I'm really excited, and I took out my hair, so we're looking really good right now. Talk to you guys next time. Hi guys, it is Sunday the 18th, I want to say. It's almost 9, is it 9? Nope, it's 9.15, and I wanted to update you guys on what I've been reading. I just finished the Hilo series, and at first I was just like, but after like thinking about it, like it was actually a really good addition to the story. It wasn't my favorite by any means, but it was still pretty good. I think the next book I'm going to read, if all of the stars align, is Vengo, the book I got yesterday from the library. I think I was going to read Heaven next, but I was like, let me kind of like space out like the short books and the long books because I think I do really want a book that'll take me more than just one day to read. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, uh, it's Sunday night. I'm ready to go to sleep, but I wanted you guys to give you guys an update. I am currently reading Vengo. I actually did end up reading it. I'm about 84 pages in. I wasn't feeling it at first. It was kind of a slow start, but I think I am starting to get into it. It's kind of reminding me of a mix between The Readers of Broken Will Recommend and, uh, what's that? The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon, where it's kind of like a story of this person's life and it's kind of telling different people's perspectives. So you have the story of a person's life from the Shadow or Shadow of the Wind and then you also have different people's perspectives like in the Readers of Broken Wheel and kind of merging those two um writing styles together. So it's it's going pretty good so far. I'm wondering how it's all gonna like come together and stuff like that. So I'm like I said I'm ready to go to sleep. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so it is 9.24 and I am about 20 pages from being done with Vengo 
And I'm kind of like, I don't know how you're going to tie all of this together, but I hope you find a way because I am not, am, I am not here for an ambiguous ending. I need all of my questions answered. Thank you very much. So I hope they're able to do it. But also, I think it's interesting how a lot of these things are being tied together. You can see how all of the pieces fit and how all the characters kind of overlap. I kind of find that cool. I'm also kind of sad that you don't get as much of a emotional connection to any of the characters. Or at least I don't feel emotionally connected to the characters because you're kind of hopping from character to character and seeing how they overlap. So I think that's my only, that's like my main hang up with it. But so far it's not bad. I mean, I have 20 pages left, so obviously I enjoyed it enough to read it so far. And I have no idea what I want to read next, but I think let's just focus on this one and let it just, let me just feel it, vibe it. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so it is almost 10. It's a 10. It's 10 on the dot. And I'll have to say, that ending was kind of disappointing. <laughs> I think that's my biggest hang-up with, like, any book that has a sequel. The first book is, like, the um, jumping-off point, so nothing actually happens. And anything worth reading happens in the second book. But I'm like, I don't want to have to read the second book. I want at least some of my questions answered in the first book, but also have a little teaser for the second book. But this book kind of just like a whole lot of stuff happened, but nothing actually happened. And I'm kind of bummed about it because I just spent all day reading it. But I mean, it was an okay, it was okay. I mean, it definitely was well written, but as far as like an action, eh, I'm a little disappointed three stars that's all you get <laughs> bye hey guys so i got this idea because we had this little spinner thing in one of our cereal boxes so i figured you know what would be cool if i use that to pick my next book so i ended up coming up with this little so i ended up cutting out a circle from this um popcorn box and i used a little spinner from the cereal box and we've had it forever i don't know why we've kept on kept hold of it but I figured this might be a cool way to I wanted to at least choose one book in this method so we're gonna choose live let's see if I can do this with one hand <coughs> is that Illuminate? Illuminate it is! Cool! Hey guys so you guys are like just being stowed on my nightstand right now so hopefully you don't fall over it is 7 30 almost and I have done a little bit of a change in plans instead of reading Illuminae I decided to read Heaven by Angela Johnson I don't know what it is about Illuminae I've tried to read it reread it a couple times and I just can't get into it I think it might be trying to do the um, the audiobook I just can't really get into it or maybe I just don't like listening to it. And oh my goodness, I have spent the entire day doing absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm thinking that I just need to give up on the audiobook. And I've been trying to say that I at least get one thing read for my uh, reading staycation. So I read Hilo number two. And I think I'm gonna, I've got Hilo number one left and reading Heaven. And I think that will fulfill my quota for today. Hey guys, it is a snowy Wednesday, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's Wednesday. It's about 6.30ish. I have reread Hilo number one for the second time. I've kind of been rereading those and now I've, I've basically read them in reverse. So I read number four, then three, then two, then one. Don't ask me why. I don't know what I want to read next. I'm thinking... I saw this book called Ash 
by Melinda Lowe, which I think is an LGBT retelling of Cinderella. Did I say that right? LGBT? Yeah. A retelling of Cinderella, which might be an interesting read. And then also I have this book called Thief of Lies, which is a library jumpers novel. So I think they're jumping from library to library. I guess that's the understanding. That's my understanding of the story. So I think I'm going to like read the first page or so of both books. And then whichever one I like best, that's the book I'm going to read next. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey guys, it is March the 22nd and the reading staycation is officially over. I basically read until I didn't feel like reading anymore. Today I'm going to get some writing done. And I think it was really interesting seeing how much I could read in like a week and a half. I think I read for, I started reading about the 13th of March and now it's the 22nd. So it's been a little over a week and I've gotten so much reading done. Like, I just realized how much reading you, you can get done if you just read for, like, a day straight. Um, I read stuff like Van Gogh, and I read, uh, The Absolutely True Diary, and I read some really great books, Aristotle and Dante, for the second time, which was such a beautiful story. So I think it was fun. I think I've kind of getting myself back in the mode of school, which is going to start back again this upcoming Monday. It's really been fun just reading, but I think it's time for me to get into a school mindset and just kind of have some more just straight chill days, no reading, no homework, because come Monday... It's back <laughs> to school once again. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and this video. If you'd like more of these videos, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.